Experts say it's been a record season for bird flu with the deadliest outbreak ever of the illness among birds here in the United States. While it's not currently considered a serious threat to human health, this latest strain is causing some concern. Our Dr. Frank George joins us now to explain a little bit more about what this is all about. Well, you know, Kim and Karen, we have already felt the impact of this record outbreak in higher egg prices at the grocery store. In fact, more than 58 million birds have died directly from bird flu or had to be killed because of exposure to infected birds. Those numbers are what has some experts so worried. The risk to humans remains low, but the latest outbreak of bird flu has already killed a record number of poultry. Which is raising the, the red flag or causing some alarm among researchers, public health, and clinical investigators about the possibility of seeing more cases in humans. There have been more than 6,300 known cases in wild birds in all 50 states, according to the CDC, but there are probably many more unknown. In 47 states, there have been multiple outbreaks among poultry. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says some non-commercial backyard flocks have been infected as well. As the virus infects more birds, it may mutate. Matthew Benneker, director of clinical virology at Mayo Clinic, says another concern about this strain is that it's not only infecting birds, but also some mammals. Including seals, mink, fox, bears being identified to be infected with the strain. The virus spreads through direct contact with an infected animal. To prevent exposure, stay away from dead birds. If you see a bird that has died on your uh, grounds, uh, in your property, don't go up and handle the bird because what we're seeing is that in the few cases of avian influenza among humans, that has been the route. <laughs> Now, the USDA has been working for years on a bird flu vaccine for potential emergency use in animals. And the University of Pennsylvania is also working on a vaccine candidate that could be used in humans if the virus began circulating among mm. people. So have we seen the worst of it or can it get worse? Well, so this is the interesting thing. The CDC has actually assessed the pandemic risk as moderate if the virus were to mutate to a version that could spread easily from person to person. Mm. What's important right now is to take precautions to basically limit human exposures to sick birds. Now, the World Health Organization, they are also monitoring this situation closely. So it's not something to completely ignore, but it's not a huge thing on the radar yet. Sure. Okay. Thanks, mm -hmm. Doc.